Early at Tennessee, Isaac Stevens. Martin will come out wearing their road red, trimmed in white, while Carmelo checks chest. Martin Methodist has Martin above the numbers and Methodist below the numbers. Ball is tipped and controlled by Cumberland. Starger will handle the ball. Takes it over to the right side. Gets it down to Stevens on the block. Gets pushed off a little bit. He'll hand it right back to Stargell. Stargell, 15-footer on the way. No good. Got a good look at it, but couldn't knock down the first shot of the game. Jenkins across the timeline. Hands it off to Jackson. Jackson trying to go back door, but has the ball stolen. Cumberland comes up with it. Going the other way. We're going to get a layup. Nice job by Jalen Duke in transition. Jenkins handled the ball, goes up the right sideline. Hands it off. Quick three on the way by Hayes on the right wing. Well off the mark. Martin with the rebound. Hands it back off to a slashing Hayes into the lane who lays it up. Cumberland brings it up the court. Over to the right wing, into the hands of Duke. Now goes to the high post to Davis. Davis wants to back down on the block. Gets into the lane. Left-handed hook shot. Good. Nice quick move by Davis in the lane. Stargell guard, guarding hard on Jenkins. That's two against two, and that's going to be a foul card, called on Stargell. First foul of the ball game. Martin now inbounding right over here to my left. He'll quickly get it into Jenkins at the logo. Jenkins takes it over to the left wing. Has his dribble. Now takes it baseline. Wants to go inside. Does so to Martin. Martin double team. They kick it out quickly. They get it to the top of the key. Jackson for a three. It's good. Nice ball movement by the Red Hawks. 5-4 now your score. Starge will handle the ball. Goes over to the right wing. Into the hands of Ridley. Ridley goes back up top to Duke. Now they're trying to go inside. They do so. We're going to get a foul as Duke was shoved in the back. They're going to kick it deep into the backcourt to Ridley, who will bring it across the timeline, and they'll set up their offense through Stargell. Now over to the left wing. Now he gets it right back. Martin in a man to man. Left wing. 15 footer on the way from the short corner is good for Aaron Ridley. Cumberland back out in front by one. Bounce pass into the low block. They're trying to go inside. Now a nice ball fake. Get his man off the floor and Gwen. Hits an uncontested eight. Coach Lewis not happy with that one. We're going to go back inside, this time to Davis. Davis makes a move. Same move he made on the right side, does it from the left side, and he comes up with buckets each time. Eight, seven, now your score. Cumberland in front by one early. Jenkins across the timeline. Takes it over to the left wing. Oh, stepped on the line, and now they get him. Thought they missed it for a moment. So that'll be the second turnover for Martin. Nice eyes by the official. He almost got away with that one. Quickly up the sideline to Ridley. Doesn't like the shot. Now they'll quickly go over to Stargell, top of the key. Now they're going to lob it into Stevens. Stevens had to tiptoe to not go out of bounds. Gets it back to Duke on the wing. Duke has his dribble. Now goes back into Stevens. Stevens on the low block quickly. Puts it on the ground but then loses the handle. And Martin comes up with the ball. Hayes will push, and it's going to go off the back of Jackson, who was running down the court. So a little miscommunication. That'll get us first sub into the ball game is Aaron Shambri. Shambri, 5'11", senior guard, checks in for Martin. 8-7, coming up with a one-point lead here early in the game. Go over to the right wing. Trying to go inside to Duke on the block. He's pushed off a little bit. Now taking a dribble in. They call a travel on him. And Coach Lewis shaking his head in agreement. Said, yep, that's a travel. 
Duke trying to establish position that time. Didn't take the power dribble. Early in the season for both these teams. Eight, seven, your score. Cumberland with the lead early. Jenkins, top of the key. Quickly goes over to the right wing to Hayes. Hayes thought he was fouled. They didn't call it. Eventually, they're going to get it inside. Stevens knocks it out of there, but it is off of his fingertips. 15 on the shot clock. He'll get it in quickly over to Jenkins in the right corner. Ball fakes. Over to Hayes, top of the key, three, no good. Rebound inside by Davis. He'll quickly give it up to Stargell. Stargell into the lane, layup, partially blocked. Stevens got a hand on it, then tips it out. And then going right to the rim, he loses it, but he gets fouled on the way up. Give Isaac Stevens all the credit in the world there. He knew he couldn't get his second hand on it, so he just slapped it out of there to a teammate. And Damari Davis is going to go to the free throw line for the first Free throws of the ball game. Davis averaging 12 points per game. 57% from the free throw line. Number one is good. He'll have another. Cumberland hit four of their last five shots from the field. And one for two at the line. 9-7, four minutes gone. Cumberland leading early. Over to the right side, Shamby has it. Chambry, I think it is. Quickly to Martin at the top of the key, back over to Chambry on the right side. Chambry, quick little guard. Can't go anywhere with it that time. Cumberland, bench coming to life here, cheering on the team. And now a block right at the rim. As Davis skied for that one. And then it goes off the leg of the Martin player. And Cumberland's bench appreciative of that. 9-7 now your score. Cumberland with the ball in the lead. They'll go back to Davis, who gives it up top to Ridley. Now they go inside to Stevens on the left block. Stevens, a series of moves. Ball bounces around, doesn't fall. And it will go out of bounds. And somehow off of Martin, as it ping-ponged around a bit, and now Cumberland will inbound underneath their own basket. Stargell will chuck it out, get into the hands of Ridley. Ridley at the logo, gets a screen, takes it to the right elbow, down in the lane, drops it off to Stevens, and it's going to go off of bound, out of bounds off of Stevens that time. Ridley might have, should have tried to hold on to that one. Don't want to fault the guy for trying to pass to a teammate, but... That's a tough spot for Stevens underneath. Left wing into the hands of Hayes. Hayes picks up his dribble near the top of the key. Bounce pass in to Marion. Marion wants to make a quick move. Can't get the shot off. Finds Martin. Martin bounce pass left wing down to the corner to Hayes. Down on the shot clock. Back to Martin. Martin on the left block. Trying to go to work. Can't get the shot off. Gets the ball stolen. Cumberland comes away with it. They're going to get it up. And not able to get the handle as Davis. He wisely pulls it back out. And now a block shot on an attempted three from behind, but Ridley able to hold on to it. Smart move by Davis. Couldn't quite get the handle. Didn't want to put up a bad shot. And just pulled it out. Down in the corner. They go to Duke. Duke hands it back off to Stargell. Stargell trying to make a move and turns it over as they try to get it to Stevens in the short corner. Now going the other way is Chambry. Chambry between the legs. Gets a screen. Can't do anything with it. Trying to not use it. Almost a double. Able to get it over to Martin. Martin's little eight-foot floater is good. Martin listed at 6'9". Seems a bit taller than that to me, but they usually don't short them. But on the other end... Stargell with a tough two inside ties the game back up at two apiece. Or 11 9. Sheesh. Chambry, right wing, picks up his dribble, nowhere to go with it. Looking at a man to man, now gets some help. Jenkins at the logo. Guarded by Duke. Jenkins over to the left wing, picks up his dribble. Bounce pass, cross court to Chambry. Dangerous pass. Deep three now on the way, well off the mark. And Duke there for the rebound. Stargell up the court. Hands it off 
to Ridley. Now they go inside to Davis. Davis on the block. That shot again, can't hit it this time, but Stevens there for the offensive put uh, rebound. Now Stargell down in the short corner. Can't get the shot off. Quickly they're going to swing it over to Ridley for a three on the left wing. That one rolls out. Pushing the ball up the court quickly is Hayes. Hayes back up top to Jenkins. Jenkins, deep three, top of the key. I'll let him have that all day. No good. Got to hit two of those before I guard you from there. Stargell with the ball. Gets it over to Stevens at the top of the key. Goes over to Duke on the right wing. They want to go inside to Davis. Can't get it there. Back up to Stargell, top of the key. Stargell, cross it over, gets it over into the corner to Stevens on the low block. He goes back out to Duke. That's going to be knocked out of bounds. It will stay with Cumberland, but only four seconds remaining. Check it into the ball game for the first time here tonight for Cumberland. Some familiar faces as Asher Bloom, the six foot seven sophomore, checks in, as does the five foot ten junior point guard Brandon Levere. Coach Lewis with a lot of positive things to say about Levere. And now miscommunication on the inbounds as Duke threw it to Davis, who had his back turned, or excuse me, to Ridley, who had his back turned. Unforced turnover by Cumberland. Levere, a great on-ball defender. Pick it up almost full court. But get over the left wing to Jackson. Jackson takes it to the top of the key. Man, open back door, they can't get it to him. Now over on the right side, Hudson handling the ball. Hudson, the lefty, gets double, picks up his dribble, finds the open man, gets it back over to Gwynn. Gwynn can't get it. Now Hudson for three, top of the key. That one well off the mark. Cumberland playing some great defense. And that'll bring us to the first media timeout of the ball game. 11-9 is your score. 11-39 left to play. Cumberland with the ball and the lead when we come back. You are listening. No pressure coming. He'll get it into Levere. He'll bring it up the court. Levere hands it off. Gets it into the hands of Ridley. Ridley back over to Levere. Bounce pass inside. Getting a little bit of space. Tough shot. And he's going to be fouled. As Davis got off the ground in a hurry. And Davis is going to go to the free throw line. Davis on the season, 12 points per game. Hits that one, he'll have another 57% shooter on the season from the line. Second free throw is no good. Hudson brings it up. Hudson over to the left wing, keeps his dribble alive, guarded closely by LaVere. Gets a screen, now gets doubled, now everybody falls off of him. Eventually he'll get it into the corner to Marion. Marion, ball fakes, wants to go down to the low block, does so, leans into it, nice layup by Marion. Not a lot Bloom could have done about that one. Cuts the lead back down to one, just under 11 to play first half. Ridley. Gives it back up to LeVere near the logo. He'll take it over to the right side, all the way down to the baseline. Picks up his dribble, gets it back over to Ridley. Ridley in the corner, layup on the way, good. But they're going to call the charge, and I think that's a good call. He get beat him to the spot, Ridley gets called. And that's going to get another sub into the ball game for Cumberland. And we'll get to see James Nicholas for the first time, the freshman out of Hopkinsville, Kentucky, six foot four, 184 pounds. Cumberland holding on to a one-point lead here. Jackson with the ball, left side. Takes it over up top. Three on the way by Gwynn. Well off the mark again. But a loose ball rebound will fall to Hayes, who takes it baseline and lays it up. Martin retakes the lead by one. Up to Bloom, quickly over to Duke, left wing, gives a screen to 
Duke, Duke spins, nowhere to go with it, hands it back to LeVere. LeVere, ball fakes, can't find the separation. Trying to force it out to Duke, ball's going to go out of bounds. It will belong to Cumberland. Nice effort there by Duke. And that'll get Isaac Stevens back into the ball game for Cumberland. Darian Jenkins checking back in for Martin, as will Aaron Chambry. 16 on the shot clock, 10 one on the game clock. Duke inbounding the ball in front of Martin's bench. They'll get it into LeVere and a no pressure. He'll come over to the right wing. Man-to-man -man defense. Picks up his dribble. Finds Duke in the short corner on the right side. 15-footer on the way. Good. Nice face-up shot. Didn't see a hand in his face and let it fly. Jalen Duke, the senior transfer. Big shot for him. Oh, going the other way. A great move by Chambry, and he just missed the layup. A little bit of a stutter step. Outside the three-point line, got the angle, but couldn't finish. LeVere, into the lane, drops it off. Nice job. Leaves it. Initially missed it, but got his own putback. It's Damari Davis. And LeVere drew the defense that time and dropped it off for the big man inside. Davis now eight points in the ball game. He leads everybody. Ooh, almost had a steal there. Now 15-footer on the way. No good. Duke with the rebound. LeVere up the court, over to the right side. Three-pointer on the way. No good by Nicholas. And no second-chance opportunity for Cumberland. Chambry will walk it across the timeline. Has it at the logo. Looking at that man-to-man. -man. Right side. Into the hands of Jenkins. Jenkins is going to bring it back out. Now bounce pass to Chambry on the right wing. Now down in the corner to Gwynn. Gwynn, ball fakes, gets his man in the air. 14-footer, no good. Duke with another rebound. Eight and a half to go. First half, 16-13. Cumberland with the ball and a three-point lead. Over to the right side to Duke. He's going to lob it into Stevens. Stevens is going to have it poked out of bounds. It'll stay with Cumberland. That will get the big man Sam Martin back in the game. All six foot nine of them. Also going to see Ridley checking back in for Duke. And Stargell will check in for LeVere. Get it into Ridley in the short corner on the right side. Pushed out, no shot. He's going to hand it back to Stargell. He has it on the right wing. Gets a screen from Stevens. Takes it to the key. Now drops it off to Ridley. Three on the way, right wing. No good, in and out. Martin with the rebound underneath. Jenkins up the court. Gets cut off. Backs it back out. Takes it over to the left side. Into the lane. Kicks it out. Three on the way by Jackson. That one is good. Tie ball game, 16 all, under seven, under eight to play. First half. Cumberland back on the attack. Stargell with it on the right wing. Looking to go inside to Duke. He'll let it fly instead. That one no good. Jenkins with the ball and a chance to give his team the lead. Dribble handoff into the corner to Jenkins. Jenkins into the lane, now drops it off to Gwynn. Gwynn, eight-footer on the way, no good. Somehow comes up with the loose ball. Second effort, no good. Martin will finish it. Martin at the rim with a little bit of a scramble. Nobody underneath to put a body on him. Puts us under seven. Cumberland now trailing by two. Right side to Stargell. Outside the three-point line, looking at a man-to-man. -man. Looking for Stevens, can't get it to him on the block. Now Stevens will give him a screen, takes it to the short corner, keeps his dribble alive, takes it out. 15-footer, wanted to go back door, had him momentarily, but couldn't get it there in time. Chambry handling the ball, lets everybody catch up, takes it over to the right wing. Oh, and now he's going to turn the ball over as Gwynn tried to Cut back door, and the ball was already out of the hands of Chambry. Unforced turnover for Martin. So Cumberland now will inbound the ball. 
16, 19 left to go. And Lavere is going to check back into the ball game as Nicholas checks out. So Lavere, normally running point, will move over to the wing. Riddler, Ridley with the ball. Gets it to Duke at the high post. Spin move, eight footer, good. Nice under control move for Duke. Ties it back up at 18 all. Under six to play first half. Left wing into the hands of Jackson. Jackson in the lane. Creates separation with his body and uses his strength to finish it. Stargell, nice crossover into the lane, drops it off, and Levere, after he got it in the corner, went to take off and took too big of a step and stepped out of bounds. That'll bring us to a timeout with 5.33 left to go in the first half. You are listening to... Opportunity here for Martin to push it out to four or five. They have not led by more than two. That's their lead currently. They have the ball over on the left wing, picking up their dribble, handing it off to Gwynn. Gwynn now over to the right side to Jenkins. Jenkins, and we're going to get a foul. That one's going to be called on Ridley. Or, yeah, that is Ridley, and he might have to come out here, and it looks like he's going to as he picks up number three. So he's done for at least the rest of the half. That's going to get Duke back into the ball game. Pardon me, that's going to get Davis back into the ball game. They'll quickly get it into Jenkins. Jenkins over to the right wing. Going to lob it in. Down to Martin on the block. Nowhere to go with it. Big man doesn't like to play with his back to the basket. Now a quick 18-footer by Gwen's no good, but an offensive rebound by Hayes gives a fresh shot clock to Martin. Tough-looking shot with a nice crossover by Jackson. And that's going to push it out to five, their largest lead of the game. Levere, right wing. Nowhere to go with it. Oh, try to get on a starge or lazy pass, and now on the other end, an easy dunk for Hayes, pushes it out to seven. Left wing, Stargell into the lane, layup, no good. Stevens battling for the rebound. First put back, no good. Second effort is good. Nice job by Isaac Stevens. Now Jenkins handling it quickly over to the other side. Long three, no good by Jackson, but the putback is good by Gwynn. A lot of second chance opportunities here for Martin Methodist. They now have 11 second chance points. Nearly half of their points. Still a seven point lead here. They go back to Stevens on the block. Ball fakes, gets the shot off, but can't hit as he tried to go off glass from the right side. Jenkins calling out the play, three and a half to go, first half. Takes it over to the right side. Nowhere to go with it, keeps his dribble. Trying to work inside, loses it momentarily, but right into the hands of Gwen. Gwen will go up to Jackson. Seven on the shot clock, Jackson at the logo, gets doubled. Goes over to Martin, three-pointer on the way, no good. Ball is tipped by Martin and another second chance opportunity. And... Coach Lewis not happy about it as his team is not getting on the defensive glass right now, and it's costing them. Cumberland needs a bucket here. Want to keep this thing close. Nine-point lead now. Levere back to handling the ball. They'll go over to the left wing. And into the ball game for the first time for Cumberland. I'll get his name out in a moment. Levere, 15-footer, on the way, no good. Got him listed for number 11. I don't believe that is the correct number. I'll get his name out in a moment. Three on the way, no good. Levere with the rebound. Levere will bring it up the court. Takes it over to the right side. Get it down in the corner. They're going to kick it out to Duke, and the ball's going to be tipped 
and it's going to be controlled by Martin. They're going to take it down, and a block by LeVere. So they'll go to the free throw line for a couple here. First one is good, so they, they let them have the continuation, so that makes it a 12-point lead, so they give them the and one. And a good shot by Duke in the short corner. Cumberland needed that. Left wing, Jenkins has it, takes it to the top of the key, bounce pass inside to Martin. Shot falling away, no good. Another rebound, but this time they won't be able to pull it in before they go out of bounds. Cumberland with the ball on the left wing. Now over to Duke on the right side. They hand it back to Levere. Levere, three on the way. Ooh, rolled out on him. Battling for the rebound underneath, but unable to come up with it. Jenkins handling the ball. Dribble handoff to Hayes. Hayes loses the handle. Levere comes up with it. A one-on-one -on -one steal, and Levere's going to go the other way and lay it up and one. Oh, and he came down hard and hit the deck, and his head hit the floor, and that does not feel good. Brandon Levere to the free throw line. Nothing but net. Still kind of grabbing the back of that head a little bit. Cumberland needs those. That cuts it back to seven. Jenkins handling the ball. Takes it over to the left wing. Picks up his dribble. Nowhere to go with it. Now they'll dribble. Hand off on the right side to Jackson. Jackson working into the lane. Forced to put up a bad shot. I think somebody got a hand on that. Now LaVere will reel it in. Checks behind him. Takes it down to the wing. Slows it down. Oh, they find Duke on the low block, and he's going to be fouled. I believe the defender, Felix Hayes, knew he was going to be beat. So he got in there and got fouled. Or committed the foul, I should say. That's going to get Stargell into the ball game here. I think they're going to get LeVere out and make sure he's not seeing stars. Great effort by Brandon LeVere. You never, ever question his effort. Stargell, right wing, under a minute to go, first half. Stargell, making a move, nowhere to go with it, low dribble, over to the left wing. Now back up to Stargell. Stargell, the end of the lane, behind the back, lofts it up, misses everything. Not quite sure where he was going with that one. Jenkins, in the lane, quickly, trying to go fast. They do, they get the ball to fall, but now Cumberland can hold for the final shot of the game, trailing by nine. Cumberland calls it now, Lewis recognizing it so they'll hold for one here has it at the logo gets a screen by Duke Duke open three horn sounds good that's how the first half will end a great job by Cumberland finding an open man there down the stretch Cumberland led by three in the first half trailed by as many as 12 but here at the half it's a six point game All right, here we go. Martin will open up the second half with the ball. And a six-point lead. Chambry handling the ball, goes over to the right side, into the hands of Quinn. Quinn, nowhere to go with it. Goes back up top to Jenkins. Jenkins, top of the key, near the logo, backs it up, examines the floor, 10 on the shot clock. Gets a screen, nowhere to go with it, kicks it over to the corner. Jackson makes a move and loses the handle. Cumberland comes away with it. Davis kicks it up the court, gets it into the hands of Ridley. 
Now over to Duke. Duke contested shot, can't get it to fall. Got stuck in kind of a precarious position and had to put the shot up. Nice defense by Martin. Chambry handling it, gets it over on the left wing. Now into the hands of Jackson. Jackson back over to Chambry, over to the right side. Jenkins now with it, into the lane. Bounce pass into Martin on the right block. Martin splits a double team, then kicks it out into the far corner to Jenkins. Can't get the three off, gets into the lane, puts up a tough shot and gets it to fall. Cumberland might have got away with one there, but either way, he hits the bucket. 36-28, over to Duke on the right side. Gets a screen, working in the lane, nowhere to go with it. Now gives it back up. Little floater is good by Davis. That's the third time we've seen him make that shot. That's hard to defend. Chambry gets it across the timeline, drops it off inside, and Martin is fouled, and he completes it. Great look on the transition by Chambry, and the big man able to finish underneath. We'll see if he can finish at the line. Martin, first free throw of the year is good. Pushes it back out to nine. Stargell down the right sideline. Takes it to the top of the key. Over to Duke on the left wing. Hands it back off. And gets it into the hands of Ridley. Ridley, just inside the three-point line. Well contested. Not a very good shot. Jenkins up the line. Over on the right side. Backs it back out. Takes it to the logo. Over to the left side now to Chambry on the elbow. Chambry working. Gets it over to the right side. Three on the way. Jenkins is good. And that pushes it back out to 12. It matches the largest lead of the game for the Red Hawks. Cumberland outscored here in the second half quickly, 8-2. to two. Stevens gets a pick. Now gets it up to Duke, top of the key. Going to hand it off quickly to Ridley. Ridley quickly swings it over the left wing. Back into the hands of Stargell. Stargell wants to go inside, does so to Davis. Davis pushed off into the short corner, trying to muscle his way back down. Tries that little shot again, can't hit it. Stevens with it. They got to get it up. It didn't hit the rim. Just in time, does it fall? It doesn't. And almost able to tip it back out of there with Stevens, but unable to. Great defense by Martin once again. Cumberland really struggling here on the offensive end to start the second half. About two minutes gone, almost three minutes gone. That will get a sub into the ball game for Cumberland. As James Nicholas checks back in. Chambry on the right wing. Bounce pass inside. Great defense by Stevens. Going the other way, Stevens is going to come down, and he's going to have it stripped on the way up. Was hoping to get a two-handed slam, but give a lot of credit there to Jenkins, who got it before it went up. Didn't foul him either. That's tough. Cumberland inbounding underneath their own basket. They're going to kick it out into the hands of Nicholas. Nicholas over on the right wing, gives it back over to Stargell. Stargell. Three-pointer, contested, no good. And rebound by Martin. They've got a chance here to take their largest lead of the game with about three and a half off the clock in the second half. Jenkins gets a screen on the left wing. Now goes down into the far corner to Jackson. Contested three off the mark. Nobody back there to rebound. Another rebound for Martin. They'll kick it out to Chambry at the logo to reset it. 6-0 run over the last minute and a half. And Cumberland comes up with a steal. Duke, two on one with Davis. Gives it up to Davis. Davis pushed off great defense by Martin. Cumberland will have to wait. Now they'll give it up to Stargell. Stargell on a secondary part of the break. No good. Duke battling for the rebound. And nice sportsmanship being shown by Chambry there. Got up and gave a little tap on the rear end. Checking in the ball game, it's Jalen Negron. He is the mystery man from the first half. He has a different jersey on tonight. I wasn't sure who he was, but that is Jalen Negron. He has it right now at the logo. Takes it over to the left wing. Nowhere to go with it. Finds Stevens at the high post. Stevens hands it off to Duke outside the three-point line. Duke trying to get a little closer. Gets it over 
for a three on the way, and it rolls out for Davis. Keeps it a 12-point game. Four minutes gone, second half. Chambry into the lane. Can't do anything with it. Kicks it back over to Gwynn. Gwynn working in the lane, nowhere to go with it. Gives it back up to Hayes. Hayes kicks it over in the corner to Chambry, and Chambry hits a three. And that's going to push it out to a 15-point lead, the largest of the game for Martin Methodist. And they are really shooting the ball well, right at 50%. At Coming out of the timeout, Cumberland with the ball. They'll inbound on the opposite end, no pressure. McGron will bring it up the court, up the right sideline. Picks up his dribble. Takes it over to Davis, who had to chase it down before it went out of bounds. He now has it on the left wing. Gives it up to Stevens. Stevens back to Negron at the logo. He wants to get a screen. Takes it over to the right side. Down to the baseline. Kicks it back to Nicholas, who goes back to Stevens. Stevens back to Negron outside the line. 15-footer on the way. Good. Cumberland needed that. That snaps a three-minute scoring drought by Cumberland. Cumberland. Back on the defensive end and doing a good job. Negron got his feet set, picks up the charge as Hayes lowered that shoulder. Assistant coach Mark Brown telling Cumberland to pick up the pace a bit. Negron over to the right wing. Picks up his dribble, nowhere to go with it. Finds Stevens in the short corner. Stevens ball fakes, gets his man in the air, shot good. Back-to-back -back buckets here for Cumberland. Cutting into this lead, it's down to 11. Got to continue to get it done on the defensive end. Oh, and a good job again. Negron is really doing a good job against Jenkins. Jenkins went to spin and went right into the chest of Negron. Even if his foot wasn't set, that was he had the right to that position. Negron, just a 157-pound freshman out of Clarksville. A lot of good basketball in the Clarksville area. Down into the corner. They'll get it to Nicholas. Bits it up to Stevens. Stevens, eight foot layup on the way. No good. Took it in for a closer look. Put back. No good. And Martin comes away with it. Up the right sideline. Pushing the ball is Jackson. Down to the elbow. Crosses his man over into the lane. Eight footer. No good. But trying to get back into the play was Nicholas. And he hacks him. Eleven point lead. They can push it back out to thirteen with a couple of made free throws. Nicholas at the line. Did not have him on my roster with any stats coming into the ball game. Excuse me. That's Jackson. He is a 75% shooter coming into the night. Misses that one. We'll have another. Dominique Marion back into the ball game for the Red Hawks. Number two is good. Get it to Davis, top of the key. Goes in to Duke. Contested 15-footer is good. Tough shot by Duke. Cumberland cuts it to 10. 13 and a half to play in the ball game. Over to the left wing, into the hands of Hayes. Hayes picks up his dribble, gets it over to Quinn down in the corner, quickly gives it up to Jackson, top of the queue, swings it back over to Hayes. Hayes, 18-footer, well contested, no good. Cumberland tracks down the long rebound. They're going to give it up to Stevens, and Stevens finishes. Nice controlled break by Cumberland. Now going the other, the other direction, able to stop the ball, and Jenkins backs it back out. Over to the left wing, Jenkins handling it. Now over to the right side. Hayes can't get the shot off. They'll eventually swing it down into the corner. Nice defense by Nicholas, and Cumberland cannot come up with a rebound. It'll go off the fingertips of Isaac Stevens, and that will give, keep the ball with the Red Hawks. Cumberland battling here. 
They've now cut the margin to two here in the second half, but still trailing 46-38 overall. No pressure on the inbounds. They'll eventually get it over towards the top of the key to Hayes. Hayes on the right wing, into the lane, gets his man on it up and under. Beautiful move by Hayes. Hayes sniffing his finger for some reason coming out of there. I'm sure that means something. Duke over on the left wing. Nowhere to go with it. Gets it in to Stevens. Stevens somehow able to pull that in. Almost muscled it in. Got his put back. What a play. That's an Isaac Stevens special there. Took a bad pass. Got the shot off. Went and got his own rebound and put it back. That's a tough nose play from a tough nose player. 48-40 is your score to continue that momentum. Martin, a very good basketball team. Very good basketball program. Martin handling the ball. Marion with it. Into the lane. Misses the layup. Nice move inside, but can't finish. They're going to give it up to Negron. Negron's going to get it to Davis. Over to Duke. Duke ball fakes. Great ball fake. Left his man at, without anybody. Misses it. Long rebound. Gets his own rebound. Can't complete it. Now it goes back to Davis. And Davis will flush it from underneath. Cumberland absolutely battling here in the second half. They have cut it to six. That gets the crowd back into it a little bit. Handle the ball out front is Hudson. Hudson in the lane, gets it over to Martin, and Martin finishes with an eight-footer from the corner, and he needed that one. Pushes it back to eight. Negron with it. Over on the right sideline. Well guarded. Picks up his dribble, gets it over to Davis, who swings it quickly to Nicholas. Nicholas on the left wing. Goes back to Negron. Negron over to Duke. That was a bad pass. That was a freshman pass. It gets picked off and going the other way. He does do a good job fouling before it uh, before he can get the shot off. Coach Brown wants to talk to him a little bit about it. It is my uh, pleasure and honor to be entering my 10th season here with Cumberland University. My fifth as play-by-play -play man. First free throw is up and good by Darian Jenkins. He will have another one. Jenkins on the season. Good free throw shooter at right at 80%. Hits that one, pushes it back out to 10. So Martin weathered the storm a little bit there. But still over 10 minutes to play. Stevens, top of the key. Tries to get it over the other wing, but gets it stolen instead and laying it up on the other end is Jenkins. So a couple of bad passes has allowed them to push this back out to 12. Nicholas gets it in to Stevens. Stevens goes over to Stargell, who gives it up to Duke. Duke into the lane, shot, no good. I think he was a little surprised at how much separation he got once he got into the lane. Jenkins with it, will bring it out. Thought about the three for a moment, then wisely pulled it down. No need for quick shots at this point if you're the Red Hawks. Hudson, left wing, picks up his dribble, gets it down in the corner now to Jenkins. Jenkins gets it inside to Marion. Marion working on the block, tries it up and under. No good, ball being batted around, and Marion's going to get it, but it's going to be called a foul on Martin. Loose ball foul, I believe, and they're going to call it on Marion. That will get Ridley back into the ball game. Big possession here for Cumberland, under 10 to play. Cumberland needs to get this down to about five or six to five minute mark. Ridley, left wing, well outside the line. Up top to Stargell. Stargell working in the lane, gets it over to Ridley in the left corner. Now they go inside on the block to Stevens. Stevens going to work, shot on the way, no good. Tough to get a shot over the big man. Got it off, but not very cleanly. Not a bad look, though, if you're Cumberland. Jenkins over to the right wing. Oh, dribbled it off his foot. Cumberland fortunate there. 
He'll get an extra possession here. That will get Shambry back into the ball game for Martin. Jenkins will come out. That is the 12th turnover of the ball game for Martin. But a 6-0 run over the last two minutes has thwarted a little bit of a run by Cumberland. We're going to go to Davis on the short corner left side. Works it back down to the block. Try to go off glass, no good, but he's going to be fouled by Gwynn. Cumberland's got a chance to snap a two-and-a-half-minute scoring drought with nine to play. Damara Davis coming into the game, a 57% shooter from the free-throw line. That one no good. Scoring drought continues at 237. Cumberland now three of six as a team from the charity strike. Gets the second one to go. Cumberland going to put a little pressure on here. See if they can get an easy turnover. Martin handling it well so far. They'll now get it across the timeline. Hayes gets it down to the corner. Big man Martin for a three. No good, but a push in the back. And they're going to call it on Duke. I think Martin would have came up with the rebound anyway. So Hayes now inbounding underneath his own basket. Gets it in to Shambry. Shambry back over to Hayes. Three on the way, top of the key. Good. That pushes it to 16, the largest lead of the game. Davis near the key, gets it up to Stargell. Stargell into the lane. High floater, falls. Got to get a stop. 58-45. Hudson on the left elbow, gets a screen. Nothing to do with it. Now Stargell gets a hand on it, but... Diving on the floor, Martin with multiple players able to save the ball before it goes out of bounds. That was a missed opportunity there for Cumberland. Hayes with it, five on the shot clock, puts up a deep three, misses everything, but Martin able to take another 10 seconds off the clock, and time starting to become a factor for Cumberland. Jenkins back into the ball game, 57-45 your score. Stargell into the lane, tough layup on the way, no good. And Martin with the rebound. They'll push it out to Shambry up the sideline. He's going to kick it over quickly for another three on the way by Gwynn, and he drills it. That makes it a 15-point lead now. Cumberland needs a bucket and multiple stops. Davis now with it. Top of the key, gets it over. Left-handed free uh, three-pointer on the way, no good. Boy, Cumberland has not been able to hit shots from outside. Now one of 11 from three-point land. Seven minutes to play. Martin is in the driver's seat. Jenkins, left wing. Gets it up to Martin, who quickly swings it to Shambry down in the corner now to Jackson. Jackson, three on the way, nails it. Pushes it out to an 18-point lead, the largest of the game, and Cumberland really hurting now. Duke over on the right wing. Can't get the shot off. Gets it back over to Stargell. Stargell back door, and a nice layup and one. Able to finish it is Ridley. Great pass by Stargell out front. And Cumberland now can pick up three points with the clock stopped. Ridley, 54% on the season, here tonight, has not been there for, make it six points now with that layup. Able to complete the three-point play with six and a half to play. Cumberland will go back in a little full-court press. Want to try to pick up an easy steal or perhaps a 10-second backcourt violation. They're able to break it. They get it over to Martin, but now Cumberland comes up with a steal. 
Stargell in a two on two. Spin move, loses the handle, now wisely pulls it back out. Not in an area where you have to put up a shot at this point. Ridley with it, top of the key, picks up his dribble, looking for help, finds Stevens, who gives it back over to Stargell. Stargell working in the corner, gets it back to Ridley. Ridley back over to Stargell. They want to go inside, they do so to Stevens. He's on the right block, he's working, he goes baseline, layup, oh, no good. Boy, they got exactly what you wanted. He was right there at point blank range and just could not finish it. That would have cut it to 13. That heel just got a little, little taller for Cumberland. Martin still attacking, a bit surprised. Three-pointer on the way, left wing, no good. Still had 13 seconds on the shot clock. Five and a half to go. Cumberland needs a bucket. Stargell with it. In the lane, 15-footer, no good. Not a bad shot, in my opinion. Quick shot, want to try to get some twos, but now... Jenkins will bring it across the line, and now they will be in no rush. Right at the five-minute mark, they get it under five minutes on this possession. Oh, and Cumberland steals it, and Stargell's going to get a layup on the other end. And with five minutes to play exactly, Cumberland has cut it to 13. Now, if you're new to Cumberland basketball, at least in my tenure, I have always... Here we go, five minutes to play. Cumberland again will go into some full court pressure. Gotten a couple steals out of it, see if they can get a couple more. Negron has checked back into the ball game. They do get it across the timeline with about a second to spare. Now Cumberland almost with a steal. Had a loose ball, but nobody was able to come up with it. Jenkins with it, top of the key. Goes over to the left, 10 on the shot clock. They'll go into their offense now. Up top to Shambry. Shambry over into the corner. Jenkins, two on the clock. They have to put it up. It's good if it goes, no good. Cumberland gets the stop, but they eat up the entire shot clock. Not a bad possession by Martin. Bounce pass inside to Stevens. Stevens going to work, kicks it back out. Three ball on the way. Davis, top of the key, rolls out. Oh, that could have got it under. 10, that would have been huge. Man, the three ball has just not fallen for Cumberland today. Jenkins handling it again. No rush here by Martin. They'll go into their offense right about now with 10 on the clock. They'll now call out the play. Goes over to the left. In the lane, loses his handle, hits the deck, gets it over to a three-point shooter, misses everything. So Cumberland with another stop, but again, they use up almost the entire shot clock going the other way. Tough shot and one will fall for Negron. If he can hit the shot, he'll cut it to 10. But again, nothing but a protocol because he did hit his head pretty hard there. But he's on the bench with his teammates in his street clothes. This free throw, but Cumberland with the rebound. Davis goes back up with it, misses the shot. They can't get the putback. He gets it again. He'll stuff it home this time with two hands once again. That cuts it to nine. Cumberland continues to battle. They'll put some pressure on. See if they can get another turnover. They're able to break the timeline. See if they can put them in a quick shot. Martin doing a good job here, slowing it back down. They'll get it back up top to Jenkins. Cumberland still not necessarily where they need to foul, but you can play hard defense. Just don't foul a shooter. Don't foul under 10 seconds either. Now backdoor cut, beautiful play as they find uh, Jackson backdoor. That might, that might do it. Now a nine point lead with under three to go. Davis into the lane, drops it off. Oh, they're gonna call a charge. He wanted to drop it off. He, he got past his original defender and then probably could have taken like about a five-foot jumper and wanted to drop it off to Stevens and his momentum took him into that other player. Some missed opportunities here for Cumberland down the stretch. Martin will break the timeline. Right at two and a half minutes to go. Three possession game. Jenkins handling the ball over on the left wing. 
Brings it back up top, nowhere to go with it. Kicks it over to the right side to Hayes. Hayes working into the lane, layup on the way, no good, but he is fouled, and he'll go to the free throw line. So with 2.19 left to go, they can push it back out to double digits here. Felix Hayes at the free throw line, 80% on the season, 8 of 10, coming into the ball game. Hits number one, he'll have another. Hayes, first time in the line today, now has 14 points, one of two players for the Red Hawks in double figures. Number two is good. High off the glass, what a move by Jalen Negron as he got the angle. And uh, not the biggest guy in the world at 6'2", 157, but boy, he went in strong with that one. Negron, an opportunity here to complete a three-point play. Couldn't complete the last one and get it back to 10 with this free throw. 2.08 left to go. That one rolls out, so that's two missed free throws for Negron here down the stretch. Last one didn't bite him because Cumberland scored on a putback. And, uh, but this one, not the same deal. They're going to kick it out to Martin, and Martin's going to get it back over to Jenkins. They'll run their offense through him under two to play. Cumberland doesn't look like they're in a mode to want to foul here, just play tough-nosed defense. They're going to get into the lane, and now Negron will foul, and now he'll complete the play, and Jenkins will get an opportunity to complete a three-point play, and I think that will seal the deal. 69-56, a 13-point lead. And stepping to the free throw line will be Darian Jenkins. Two for two here in the contest, 12 points. And he hits it. Ridley attacking the rim quickly, gets fouled. He'll go to the line. So that stops the clock at 135. First one is up and in. Davis now with 16 points in the game. Leads everybody for Cumberland. He is 4-7. of seven. One rebound shy of a double-double. That one rolls in for him as well. 135 left to go. Cumberland will stay in their full court press. Martin able to break it. They're going to get it in and a layup on the other end by Jackson. That's kind of the risky run when you're trying to get back in the game and putting on full court press. It's usually a steal for you or a layup for them. Tough shot in the lane by Jenkins, no good. I said Jenkins, I meant Ridley. 111, another foul by Cumberland, and I believe that is going to foul out. No, he's just talking to him. Jackson back to the line. He's hit two of three. 25 points in the ball game, leading everybody. He hits number one, he'll have another. Cumberland will remain on at home as they are hosting Philander Smith on Thursday. We will not have that broadcast for you. Number two is good. Davis quick three. And why would it be good? Cumberland's only hit one in this ballgame. 
Ball goes out of bounds off of Martin, so Cumberland will inbound underneath their own basket with 101 to play. They get the ball in for a quick shot as Duke is able to connect. Cuts it to 13. Cumberland will remain in their full court press and I think at this point just working on some stuff. And now I think they're going to call it off a little bit. Jenkins into the lane, floats it up, and it falls. 15-point lead now. 30 seconds to play. In the lane, and now they're going to call a foul on the floor as Negron again got in. Uh, no, they're going to count, so he'll have his third opportunity for an and one. He hasn't been able to complete one yet. He's played well off the bench for Cumberland. He's got eight. And he misses that one, so had three missed free throws for the young man. Don't think it would have made much of a difference, though. Shot clock off. This one's going to wind down. It's a tough-fought game for Cumberland, but Martin took a punch and was able to, uh, to stay standing here in the second half. They're just going to hold the ball, and that's going to be the final score. 75-60 is your final. And that's going to do it. Martin's going to come out of here with a well-earned, hard-fought victory. Cumberland just couldn't get anything going from outside. Just one three-pointer in the ball game. 